Yesterday, Apple brought to the world watchOS 7, an iPhone 30, new features and changes that Apple has changed within this new operative system of the Apple Watch. So let's go ahead and let me show you, because there's quite a lot to talk about. What is going on guys and welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm gonna be uploading a bunch of content about WWC, about iPadOS, about more about um, watchOS 7 this week, next week, and a bunch of them this month, just subscribe. Now is a very good time to subscribe to this channel because there's gonna be a bunch of content surrounding this one. One last thing before I start, this video has been brought to you by Vegan Loop. The Vegan Loop is a leather Apple Watch band that feels like actual leather, but it actually isn't leather. Like I've tried so many other leather Apple Watch bands, like, you know, fake leather Apple Watch bands that, but you know it's not leather, but this one actually feels like leather, but the best part is that it's not actual leather, so it's 100% animal cruelty free. It is 100% vegan. Leather is is very cruel. I don't want to get into this topic, but it, it is very cruel. So this band is 100% animal cruelty free. So you won't be hurting any cows. You won't be killing any animals by buying this band. So if you guys are interested, links of course are in the description. Now, let me go ahead and turn around my camera and let me show you a bunch of very exciting features and changes like literally, the smallest changes, the biggest feature, everything in this video. So let's do it. Let's turn around the camera and let me show you. All right, so the first new feature in watchOS 7 is a hand washing feature. So basically, whenever you're washing your hands, the Apple Watch will actually detect that you're washing your hands and will set a 20 second timer like this. You actually wash your hands during 20 seconds. I absolutely love this new feature. All right, a very sad change is that 3D Touch Force touch is actually gone inside of watchOS 7. So let's say here, you usually could force touch. You cannot do that anymore. Let's go ahead and open up a message. I cannot do that anymore. So that is very sad. 3D touch, force touch is actually gone inside of watchOS 7. Hopefully we'll see it in upcoming betas, but as of right now, it is totally gone. We can now access the settings of the battery. So as you guys can see right here, I can actually tap on battery and I can see how the battery is going right now. And I can actually see my battery health right here. So as of me, I've got a 99% battery health, which is good. So you can do that straight from the settings app on the Apple Watch. We got a new watch face called Chronograph Pro, which is pretty awesome. You actually get a built-in tachymeter. So if you actually tap over here, you can actually press here and the tachymeter will actually work. We also get improvements on the XL watch face. You can now have big, huge complications inside of the watch face. So right now I have the activity app, but of course you can actually change the complication to whichever one you want. So let's go ahead and pick the audiobook complication. And as you guys can see, it works just like that. One thing that you notice straight away is that the actual software runs so quickly. Like look at these animations. They are extremely fast and I can do this. For example, double tap. Look how fast this is. These animations are super fast and I love them. So definitely speed improvements is huge inside of watchOS 7. Another great change is that Apple has actually redesigned the watch face editor. So as you guys can see, this has actually changed. So first of all, this has changed the dial color. Also the color, we now get these awesome colors on the right. So you can actually pick the colored watch face. So I absolutely love this change and it is so much easier to understand and also Whenever you tap on a complication, this pop-up will open and we get this easy to understand um, new interface and you can just tap that away and there you go. As I was saying, we do not have force touch anymore. So as of right now, whenever I hold, I cannot force touch and clear out, but on the top, as you guys can see, we now have a clear all button. So if I tap the clear all button, it should clear all of my notifications. We get a new app inside of watchOS 7 as well. We now get the shortcuts app inside of watchOS 7. So as you guys can see, here are all of my shortcuts. So if I tap on a shortcut, it actually works. You have to, of course, click allow. That's it. Talking about complications as well, we now get a couple new complications inside of the watch faces. For example, the astronomy complication. So we get the solar, the moon, we get the solar system, and we get the earth. We also get the shortcuts complication. We get a sleep complication. More about this later. And we also now get a camera remote complication. So like this, 
I can simply tap and open up my camera remote app straight from my watch face. Definitely one of my favorite new features inside of watchOS 7 is this right here. We can now share watch faces if it lets me, there we go. We can now share watch faces to you guys. So my watch face will actually be linked down in the description if you guys wanna share it, but you can send it to your friends, you can tweet it, you can do whatever the heck you want, which is awesome. So watch faces are now shareable once again, um, whichever watch face you actually want. As you guys can see, it will always be right there. This button right here, and you will actually be able to share it. This is awesome. All right, another new app inside of the Apple Watch is Sleep. You sleep to schedule your wake up alarm, bedtime, and bedtime reminders on Apple Watch and iPhone. Set up a goal. This is actually the first time that I'm ever opening it. I guess eight hours of sleep sounds good. My friend Victor already slept with the Apple Watch, so here's how it actually looks. I'm gonna be sleep tracking on it today, so I'll, I'll probably be making a video about only about sleep tracking with the Apple Watch um, further on this week. But this is how it looks, and I am very, very excited to actually test this out. Sleep tracking is finally here. Also, if you go to settings and sleep, you'll actually get be able to do charging reminders, like this, you remember to charge your Apple Watch in the morning or during the night and you can activate or deactivate sleep tracking. So there's a new sleep option inside of settings. This was definitely a very highly requested feature for me, but you can actually now search an artist, for example. Let's go ahead, Rosalia. So you can now search an artist, for example, Rosalia, and as you guys can see, I'm actually searching with an Apple Music, which is awesome. And as you guys can see, I've got all of my Rosalia songs right here. Control so Center has also gotten a couple improvements. We get the sleep um, icon right here will actually turn on do not disturb mode just like that. We also get this new toggle. Please, everybody, let me know in the comments down below if you guys know what this is because I cannot tap, which is kind of weird. Also, we now we can now finally remove, for example, I, don't, I never use the walkie talkie app so I can easily remove it just like that and they will appear in the bottom just like that. So you can finally now remove icons from the control center. The wallet app has finally been redesigned. Apple actually has never um, changed it since launch. So we finally have a new design within wallet. It's got this floating design. So every ticket will actually just kind of flow, which is great. Another great change. By the way, guys, I've got, I've actually got a dollar from America. So if anybody wants to actually screenshot this, and show it to Apple. There's actually a dollar over here, so you're welcome. You just got you just got a dollar for free. So hopefully somebody will use this dollar. I live in Spain, so I cannot use this dollar. Now when you double tap the side button, the wallet app will appear. Of course, my credit card will appear, but if I scroll down, as you guys can see, I will actually be in the wallet app. Before, it just let me be in the credit card and that was it. Now I can just simply scroll through the wallet app, which is a very nice change. All right, the activity app on the iPhone is actually not called activity anymore. As you guys can see, it's actually been renamed to fitness when it's actually got a new design. As you guys can see on the bottom, summary and sharing, which is pretty cool. So it's got a very minimal design now, which is a very much appreciated change. All the awards are now in the bottom and you can actually click more and you can, you can actually see all of your awards. So this was definitely a very nice change and a more minimal, I kind of don't like that, you know, on the Apple Watch, it's actually called activity and on the iPhone, it's called fitness. So hopefully Apple will figure out a name to, you know, call both apps. Since 3D Touch is gone, if you 3D Touch, you cannot change the, the layout of your home screen. But if you actually go into settings, you click on app view, there you go, you'll be able to change between list view or grid view, just like that. All right, so when you're using dictation or scribble, there is a new icon which you can actually change the language. Now this is very, very, very useful for me and this also works with dictation. As you guys can see, it will actually appear right here as well and I can change the language. Hello, Victor, how are you? While we're on iMessage, if you actually scroll to the bottom, you'll have a couple more information. You can actually send your location to the chat. You can actually change the language over here as well. Or you can actually check the details. You, know, you can actually call Victor, text Victor, walkie talkie Victor, or email Victor um, right on the bottom of the chat. All right, inside of maps, if we actually tap this right here, for example, there is now a new cycling 
um, maps feature, so you'll actually know how to cycle over there. But as of right now, the beta doesn't work. As you guys can see, it actually works with all the others, but it doesn't work with cycling. So maybe in beta two, this will work. I'll keep you updated. While we're on maps as well, maps has actually been redesigned. The new signs, these new icons are way bigger and easier to read. We get four new workouts in the workout app. We get functional strength training. We get dance. So if you like to dance, if you're at the club, you can literally just turn this on. I'm going to be doing that. Cool down and core training. So those are the four workouts that are new in the workout app. In the timer app, if you actually scroll to the bottom, you'll now see your most recent um, timers and if you actually tap it will actually start playing so your most recent timers will show at the bottom of the timer app I absolutely love this one but Siri now has a new interface look how beautiful this looks so I now I can ask Siri what's the weather today here's the weather today what I absolutely love I mean this is absolutely great I love this I love this new Siri ball Siri, I love you. All right, guys, I'm currently in a phone call with my girlfriend, but as you guys can see, when the Apple Watch detects that an app is actually using your microphone, it will let you know with this small icon right here. So privacy in mind, Apple is always taking privacy in All mind. All right, so that's everything that I have personally found. So let me know in the comments down below if I missed anything, and let's go ahead and have a party down in the comment section below. And yeah. That's it. Subscribe if you're new. A bunch of WWDC content, I'm telling you. Hashtag be happy because life is good. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. That's life. That's life. That's what all the people say.